When the prospect of doing mission work arose, there was one place that Janita Burke knew she had to be. Ghana. Undaunted that the West African nation was more than 7,000 kilometers away, in 2010, she traveled from Bermuda all the way to the Volta region along Ghana's southeastern border. Her goal? To visit a newly established vocational school called His Majesty's School Center and Happy Home, founded by Ghanaian Reverend Alberta Smith. She was focused on teenagers at that time with a vocational school, helping teenage mothers um, and, and fathers, because um, there were some boys there, um, get a trade so that they can provide for themselves and for their children. Her experience over the course of that first encounter inspired Ms. Burke to create the Seeds of Hope. I popped popcorn and sold that at uh, Cut Match, and I raised five thousand uh, dollars in at a cut, at a Cut Match. People gave; they knew what the cause was. And thanks to support from the charity, the Church Restoration Fellowship, and Ms. Burke's personal savings, the school has grown from a vocational institution to a more traditional school and orphanage. There are stories of children who were left, um, I'm going to say left for dead. A number of the, the kids um, have lost both parents. Um, some of them have a parent um, alive, but the parent isn't able to, to care for them. So, but these kids are finding family, are finding love, are finding support, um, and will have an education that can never be taken away from them. Now located in a bigger facility in the Krobo Adumase region of Ghana, and very much in demand, his Majesty's School Centre and Happy Home student body has grown from a mere five students in 2009 to 300 students today. And it's also home to 30 orphans. So in December 2022, after more than a decade of providing support for the school, Ms. Burke decided it was time for a second visit. So the purpose was to provide tangible support uh, in person to, uh, to the to the directors to meet the kids and also to introduce my nine-year-old uh, Mackenzie to the experience. And the P5BHS student says it's an experience she'll never forget. I felt really thankful for what I had. Um, see all the children having fun with the little things they don't have. And it's just really Spectacular. Thanks to Ms. Burke's efforts, the school now has four toilets instead of two. And that's not all. With personal funds, funds from the church, funds from my friends and, and family that donated, we have started an, an innovation center. So there was no library at the school and there were no computers. So while I was there, that was um, a, a focus. So we've uh, purchased bookshelves, we have books, and we've purchased some computers. And with her support over the years, each of the children is in a nurturing, supportive, and child-focused environment and has a much better chance of becoming a positive contributor to society. Julie Matthews-Borchard for Bermuda Broadcasting News.